one. Hey, how y'all doing? This is Rick Sincere with MTNV Sports. Geek to be joined today by the entire squad, man. We got the team with us, but we also have a visitor with us as well. Um, Dr. Ernest Silva from the Into the Lab podcast, man. Hey. We, we were blessed to be able to join their show. It was an awesome situation, man. I went out there and almost won some money, but, you know, I was going to try to bring it back to the home squad. But I didn't win that money. <laughs> anyway, we uh, we're bringing him on the show today, so geek to have him in the building. Um, let's go around and we'll get him um to start us off. But after that, man, I want everybody in the whole MTNV crew to tell oh, you yeah. about uh, kind of how they feeling today. Um, Doctor Silva, nice to have you in the building, bro. How you feeling today? Yeah, feeling great, man. Joining you guys from the home studio, but excited to be joining you guys tonight. And uh, you know, I'm in San Antonio, Texas, so over hey. here it's been. You know, a little crazy, but uh, enjoying my time. Almost hitting my 30th birthday, so. Nice. nice. Excited right. to be joining y'all. Yeah. Hey. We love it. Dirty 30. I love Welcome it. Welcome to yeah. the 30s, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we got the homie in the building, The Voice. How you doing, sir? What's good, everybody? It's your man. The myth, the legend, The Voice. <laughs> <laughs> y'all know what it is, man. We got Kanye Westside in the building. Westside, how you doing, sir? Hey, what's up? It's Kanye Westside, the best side. Part of Hard to Paint podcast and the main guy, well, one of the the, the half of the Campus Connect crew. Which AJT, hey, you want to go ahead and make that announcement? When we coming out? Is this oh, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Keep it on the wraps. <laughs> Just know yeah. we coming out soon, and JT's my other half. Yeah, Matter that's fact, great JT, marketing. Introduce yourself. It's, it's great. How you gonna take my job anyway? So. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Will Smith, how you doing, bro? <laughs> doing the skip on my dog like that. Okay. Good. It's Will Smith with Red and Bold, your MTMV Sports Correspondent for your Super Bowl champion, Kansas City Football Chiefs. Can't wait. Can't awesome, wait. man. I'm so awesome. I just can't wait till he can't do it anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> Dave Stevens, how That's you a doing, true brother? statement. That hurts. What's up, everybody? Host of the Jay Stevens Podcast, part of the Hard to Paint Podcast. Happy to be back today. JT, Miles, we got a guest with us as well. Let's have some fun tonight, y'all. Yes, sir. Geek, man, geek, geek. We got the first lady, MTNV Sports. How you hey. doing? Hey. Hey. Hi, everybody. I'm good. Gang, 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 gang. You guys know I'm the host of the V Report, and I'm happy to be here. Awesome, hey. awesome, awesome. All right, Miles, how you doing, sir? Welcome, welcome. What's going on, man? It's your boy, Miles. Hard in the paint. NBA correspondent for NBA for the MTMV Sports Podcast here, man. I'm thoroughly excited. We got some stuff to talk about. The NBA is back. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I can't wait to get into it. And look, last but not least, MVP JT is in the building. How you yo, feeling, yo, JT? Yo, what's up, man? It's your favorite cousin's cousin, your favorite auntie and nephew, man. You're <laughs> The other half of the Campus Connect crew is just, and we coming. <laughs> okay that's awesome big man. things I, coming i like is, it i love the market is gonna be your first guest <laughs> who big don't Hood. hate don't riding hate on a unicorn <laughs> on a uh on a rainbow as a matter of fact we might have you as our first guest <laughs> there you go look at that all right yo wow. so you could be our unicorn Miles mentioned it today. He said that, hey, the NBA is coming back. Look, we have a date that sports are coming back. I think it's July 31st that That's we're correct. looking at um, for um, for basketball coming back. They're coming back with a redu with reduced teams, right? So we're looking at about 22 teams in total, right, yes, coming back. And we're going to see this all play out. They're going to play like a very shortened schedule right before I think they hop into a tournament to kind of figure out – it's like a play-in to see who's going to be um, – for seating, so he was going to make the NBA playoffs. I'm excited sure. about it. A lot of people are excited because it's been a while since we've seen some basketball. I mean, unless you're just kind of you know watching simulations of 2K, you haven't seen any <laughs> basketball in a while. No. <laughs> so what we're what we're hoping for, or what we're happy about, is that it's coming back. Well, another league is also coming back, MLS, and here in Atlanta where is where kind of I'm, I'm stationed. Right. Um, a lot of people are excited about that. The Atlanta United kind of run the streets around here, even the Falcons around. But um. Well, so MLS is coming back and they're they're excited as well, but they're not coming back with a reduced team. They're not coming back with 22 teams or you know shorten amount of teams. They're coming back with all their teams in a tournament style restart. Do you think who do you think in your opinion has the better restart plan? Right? Is it the NBA kind of with their reduced team schedule because some teams are kind of getting you know pushed to the side in that um in that schedule, right? But some teams are not. 
But you're also looking at this other full team, <laughs> this full <laughs> team tournament um, style. Which one do you prefer? Which one do you think is better? We'll kick off with you, Miles. Um, who's having the better restart program? Well, I, def- I definitely think I'm, I'm, I have to go with the NBA and having the restart that they're having because of where they were in the season, uh, 65, 67 games in. I believe the Portland Trailblazers have played two two more games than most of the Western Conference. Which So I think coming in to where they are, I think, is, is, is what's going to put the NBA ahead of schedule. So uh, them coming in to prior, prior before the playoffs, I think they're playing eight, game, eight regular season games. And then coming into the playoffs to where these seedings are, are happening. So I think the the plan was if you're within six um, six wins of eighth place, you would be able to be in that play in. So it's five teams on the Western Conference, uh, one team on the Eastern Conference. Which I mean, we talked about this on Harden the Pain over the weekend. Uh, it doesn't really seem any for any reason the Wizards to be a part of this whole thing, being six games back. I mean, they're six games back behind the Magic, so they would have to have an unbelievable eight game regular season, or how they're ever going to play it. Um, but I definitely think it's it's more anticipation for the NBA because we're going uh, shortly into the playoffs. And Adam Silver has been adamant about this whole, uh, once the, the, the pandemic hit, about wanting to be kind of the face of the restart, uh, kind of setting the president and kind of making sure that if, he, if, if they were going to do it, he was going to be the one to make it happen. So I definitely think there was great collaboration, collaboration against uh, for the GMs, the owners, Adam Silver, the players. Um, and they made this thing the best it can be. Now, I do, uh, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, they're sharing – this ESPN uh, Wild World of Sports, if, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, um, so that's going to be interesting to see how how that whole thing plays out uh, with having that many teams there. Obviously, the NBA and the MLS, um, but I'd have to lean towards the NBA because we're they're so close to the playoffs. Uh, you talk about the Battle of LA, Giannis uh, have, having a repeat of of the NBA. I mean, of the NBA MVP, uh, who's really going to be there? I think LeBron versus Kawhi, everybody's talking about There's a lot of storylines that come with that rather than with the MLS being, I mean, sh- shortly, uh, a little under three weeks uh, in, into the into the season itself. So there's just, there's unfinished business uh, in the NBA and things that need need to happen need to be figured out very, sh- very soon. And that's what we're all anticipating. Hey, look, we're going to open the floor right now. Jay Stevens, you ready to, to, to get into it, bro? Who do you think has the better um, plan to restart? I'm going with Major League Soccer. Um, I'm not a big fan of the NBA and how they are bringing back some teams. Well, mainly most of the Western Conference teams that are six games back, they're bringing them in. It's five in the West, one in the East, as far as the teams that are outside of the eighth position in the playoffs. I'm I'm not a big fan of that. I would have rather had it be three and three, because like I told Miles the other day, you have the Wizards, who are the ninth spot, who automatically have a shot to be in the playoffs no matter what due to the play-in tournament. Where on the Western Conference, you got the Suns, who are, I think are like five or like in a, the, the last team of those that aren't in the playoffs on the Western Conference that have a shot to get there, but they're number five. So it, the math doesn't make sense with where Major League Soccer was in their season. It makes perfect sense to go ahead and bring everyone back at this time in the nba if they want to bring people back bring everyone back don't just bring have one eastern conference team outside of the playoffs really? and, and then five in the western conference the unevenness miles not a big fan of because <laughs> the wizards may get in while the teams in the western Amen. conference still have to battle start the battle to make the playoffs you don't believe that Look, hey, look, I, I want to go. I want to. I want to go ahead and piggyback real quick. Man. Well, hold on one I second, gotta, Connie. Hold on one second, Connie. We got a hand raised. Raise and your so, hand, sir. We do. So we got. We got a hand <laughs> raised. Um, Dr. Silver, go ahead and take it. Yeah, I like what Jay was saying, and I wanted to piggyback on some of the things Miles was Dr. saying. Dr. E, so come on, when, baby. When, when it comes when it comes to uh, the better playing stuff, so I actually like the NBA more than the MLS. But I, I think the MLS is just kind of. Um, more, a little bit more of a safer route for coming back because you're going to have the play-in tournament. I mean, they're literally running 90 minutes, well, 45 minutes straight, then a break, and 45 minutes again, and then you have overtime. So having that body output and going with the small group Thank practices, you. then expanding to large group practices, then the play-in tournament is real safe on the on, on how you bring the players in. So I think MLS, MLS took Makes the sense. safe route, um, especially when we're only two games into the season, right? So it really, really it was no season for the MLS. Like, technically could have said let's skip this year if they really wanted to yeah right. so um that, i think that was the best case scenario for them but played it safe the nba is intriguing because they could have done a lot of things with it they could have done group stage playoffs they could have skipped right to the playoffs but obviously they wanted to allow for rust and for people to actually have some games in there to prove their worth to get into the playoffs uh one thing they did keep with this play-in style 
um, is that you get to you get to look at the teams that not everybody would focus on. Um, mm -hmm. And look at the teams at the bottom and, and look at your Devin Bookers and look at um, the De'Aaron Foxes of the world and, and get to see if they're going to make their runs, right? And yes, there's more Western Conference teams. Honestly, the Western Conference is a little bit more stacked than the Eastern Conference is. Um, so when you look at the talent roster from one down to 15 on these rosters, the West has a little bit more talent than the East does. Um, and you look at you look at, at the plane. I mean, you have the San Antonio Spurs trying to make the playoffs for what is it their 22nd year in a row Thanks. right and so and so that you get you have that kind of hype even though lamarcus Aldridge is out the rest of the season with the surgery today so you have you have a lot of a lot of hype playing? with those well yeah i know right yeah, uh, yeah and yeah. pop is and believe it or not pop is still coaching so um when you look at uh when you look at the other piece of this is that adam silver and, and i was going to hit on it but miles beat me to it Adam Silver wants to be the go-to league in America, right? So he has to do anything to get on his good graces. We all know Roger Goodell and Donald Trump right now are not on good terms. They're obviously on the way opposite side of the spectrum right now with what is going on right now um, in our world. So um, the NBA coming back, I think it puts in the hype. You have teams who have real, real outside shots, including the Wizards and that. That's why I like Jay's point. Um, but you got... A, a conglomerate of teams in the West that are so close in the standings that you get that hype real fast. Um, but I think the big part about the NBA is the unknown, right? You're going to have pickup style basketball for six, maybe seven games where guys are shaking off rust more, more one-on-one -on -one play than ever before, which really favors okay. a, a certain team that I love. And you're going to have uh, <laughs> a, a lot of uh, sloppy 23 <laughs> averaging turnovers a game for teams oh, who are, man. who are usually going to be um, very much safe with the ball. So I think it's going to be awesome to see the, the, the world athletes on a much more human level. Um, but I, I love oh. the NBA aspect. I think they did the best they could without doing a complete revamp of group play and letting people go. choose their opponents. So, but yeah, that's all. Stop letting Jordan punk them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no Talk, gimmicks. Talk to you? me, Venora. Talk to me. So I actually like threw a Zoom party because I saw that the NBA was coming back. The NBA is my favorite league, and I was uh, excited. And man. honestly, my I don't want to see my Knicks do nothing else. I don't want to see my Knicks. I don't want to <laughs> see the Cavs. I don't want. You ain't the only one. I don't want to see anybody who can't make who is not a top top eight. I'm done. Yeah. I, I'm done with that. I'm good on that. But I can't wait for the NBA playoffs. Like, if you guys checked out my view before, I was like, like spicy about it. I was like, I'm like, so excited. Yes, ma'am. And like, I like soccer. Soccer's cool. But like, I'm really like feeling that <laughs> NBA vibe. I'm really here for my basketball. Thing. I'm with it. I love it. I love it. Yo, Conrad, what's that? In the, wrap us up. Hey, guys. I want y'all to think about something. I... <laughs> I am rolling with the MLS, and I want you to think about this. The MLS has a chance to do something that they actually been trying to do. They get a chance to go head to head with the Premier League, which, if you know anything about the Premier League, that's what it is. The Premier League, you you're playing, you're playing with Arsenal, you're playing with Man U, uh, Man, uh, Man, Man Manchester, City. Man City. I mean, it's 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 a grand stage. And they're like, okay, who's gonna have the most? Who's gonna have the most views? Of course, MLS is here in America, so you know, you know, you got the American, um, you got the American fan base. But is the American fan base gonna come out and support the American teams? Um, and then, are we gonna get the same looks from Europe? You know, I think this is a perfect time for the MLS to come out, man, so they can so they can say like, hey, hey, look, we're going to we're going to compete with one of the top premier leagues out there. So hey man. All right. Yo, it seems like across the board we have um, you know, we have a pretty mixed thing here. Like some people are for NBA, some people for MLS. Um if you if you ask me real simply, I'm really excited about MLS. I'm happy that they're coming back. I'm super wow. geeked about it. And for all the people who really love the Atlanta United that's awesome right if all the people who really love mls phenomenal at the same time what's really going to get my attention is when you start bringing Brown back and i can't wait to watch it all right y'all look you're we're gonna take <laughs> we're gonna I wait to what so I, I think you, you, you pronounced zion wrong <laughs> <laughs> all right ah, wow. all right and if you want to get muted, just keep on laughing. All right, guys. So we will be here. All right, y'all. So look, I'll catch y'all right after the break. We'll be right back. 